this is Denise from Something Beautiful Handcrafts, and these are the finished owl mitts. Now, you might notice the name change from Foursquare Micro Farm, and that's something I talked about in my studio blog number five. And also, I did give a little spiel about um, this particular project. And I cut it kind of really down the size because that video ran so long that I cut a big chunk out of it. And so I'm going to pause and insert that portion of the video uh, into this one so that you can get the background on the mitts and the baby doll blend yarn. If you haven't seen the video from January 2020, um, about the spin-off mid along I think is what it's called uh, this is the yarn that I was spinning for the spin along okay so this is a baby doll alpaca blend it's a 50 50 blend and I'm going to be honest and tell you how I feel about this first of all I want to say it's a disclaimer for those of you who like baby doll south down yarn or, or fiber, it's very possible that the baby doll fiber that you have encountered is different than the baby doll fibers that I have encountered. So this may not necessarily apply to you. Um, it's also fairly possible that the baby doll fiber that you have encountered is the same as the baby doll fiber I have encountered and you just like it. And that is perfectly all right because I've met people who refuse to spin Angora and they have their reasons and it doesn't matter if it's long or short, they have their reasons. I have people who refuse to spin um, Cheviot and they have their reasons. And we could be working with the same Chevy on. I could love it and they could hate it. So it's totally understandable. If you're raising baby doll south down fiber and you're upset about what I say after this, I'm truly sorry. Like I said, we all have our likes and opinions and dislikes, which is why there's a couple hundred breeds of sheep. There's all kinds of reasons to have them. Okay, so... What I'm going to say is that I seriously dislike Baby Doll South Down. Okay, and there are a couple reasons. First of all, it's a South Down. So it is a medium fiber. And sometimes even the down breeds and the hill breeds have some sheep that are softer than others and coarser than others. So there's still a range within that breed. So we're dealing with a medium fiber that could range down the course. And to me, South Down is always a little on the coarser side than Dorset. Well, no, I shouldn't say Dorset because Dorset's a little on the coarser side than, than Suffolk. Suffolk just seems springier to me. It's not always as coarse. The Dorset and the South Down always seem a little coarser. So, And they have their place because I use them and I have them. So that's that's not a too big of an issue. This, the number one issue is it is terribly short. One to two inches, I think, actually one and a half inches is the longest I've ever seen it. I here can get the two inches, but I haven't really seen it and still two inches is just too short to me. I really don't like short fibers. So what I'm dealing with is a very curly, a very short, grippy, coarse fiber. Not my favorite. Um, of course, I could cart it and spin it long draw, which is something I don't do a lot of because I don't really like woolen yarns for the purposes in which I use my yarns. So um, when I'm spinning, I'm spinning with a short backwards draw or even a longer backwards draw pinching off the twist so that it's still worsted and what happens in the baby doll is I feel like I'm doing this the whole time let me show you them like 
And because I can't get a real nice smooth pull because the staple length is so short, it, it, it makes my hand cramp. So I'm pretty much short pinching out like Brillo pad. I don't, I'm not really crazy about the texture. I'm not really crazy about the short motion. It makes my hand cramp. And so when I'm done, I've got a short, coarse fiber. Um, and it seems to me there's always a lot of neps in it. And I think, well, even when I carded it myself, because you can't really comb it, even when I carded it myself, it just seemed like it just came out neppy. Um, I used the 72, I used the 120. It just, it's just short and it catches the carding machine and it just seems to come out neppy. So, and I don't like neps. So, you know, if I'm trying to flick little bits of fiber off as I scrape my fingers up on my flicker, it's just, the whole process for me is not enjoyable. So what I wind up with is those little neps, which I just don't like. I don't like spinning them. They're, they don't allow for a nice smooth spinning motion with the little neps. And uh, then I've come out with this really coarse fiber. So somebody thought it was a good idea to blend alpaca with this baby doll fiber. Ooh, there's not a lot of rules in spinning, but one rule is that your blend is only going to be as soft as your coarsest fiber. So I don't know if they had some coarse alpaca and thought they'd just throw it in for as a good mix. I'm not sure if they thought that the baby doll was going to give the alpaca extra memory. I'm not really sure why they why they did what they did, but what certainly did not happen is the alpaca did not soften the baby doll. It didn't. And it actually made for a little confusion as I was spinning because you've got a longer staple in there. Then you've got the short stuff. And it seems and when you're carding that, you create neps too. If, if, if the fiber staple limbs are uneven as you're carding, you create neps in that too. Okay, so I'm sorry. I just talked about this yarn so bad. I'm sorry. Okay, so anyway, I persevered and I spun it up and here it is. Now, um, generally when I start something, I finish it. Occasionally I have thrown things away, but this is usable yarn if you're okay with it, you know, and I have no problem putting Cheviot on my hands, but even this feels a little, a little scratchy. But I'm going to keep going because I only have a few more days until the spin and mitt along is finished. Though I could, in that conceivable time, spin something totally different and knit it, but I won't. At any rate. So here, here it is. And I'm going to change the pattern I had originally intended, which I said in the first video. I'm going to um, do the owl pattern off Revelry, which is one of my favorite patterns with the, the little owl in the middle of it and then see how that goes. And with that said, here are the finishments. Of course, um, they look great. I love this pattern and I'll put a link to it down uh, in the description. It works up really nicely. Uh, I did them two at a time as usual. I do have to say though, of course, um, following my whole kind of rant type thing on the baby doll blend, I tried wearing them last night at church. And so for the first 20 minutes, I, I was doing fine. I'm like, okay, so maybe not quite as scratchy as it felt, you know, cause when you're touching this yarn, you're like, oh, that's scratchy. And sometimes they're not quite as scratchy when you put them on. But after about, like I said, 20 minutes, I could feel the scratching down here on my wrist. And I was like, ah, that's not going to work. I am going to try washing them a bit. Uh, sometimes that releases things and it does help. Uh, so we'll see. But for the most part, like I said, I found this particular wool really scratchy. So um, I'm probably going to use the rest of it as a carpet warp. Uh, see, they're starting to scratch now. And I've only had them on for two minutes or something like that. That's just, you know, that's how it is. 
Uh, we can't like every fiber, can we? And uh, maybe some of us do, but it's okay if you start out with something and you finish and you're kind of like, mm, not really. But I do love the pattern and uh, I've made it before. I'll make it again. Uh, I'll, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and make a pair and alpaca and angora for a friend. But it was just fun to do the mid along uh, with the wonderful folks from Spinoff Magazine and all those people who participate in the mid along. So I uh, make this pattern and uh, I can't wait to see what you can play it for the mid along um, on Instagram or even in the Revelry thread. I'm going to go peeking through there and see everybody's mints that they completed. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and put those in the comments section uh, or any suggestions. I'm always open for suggestions of things you might want to see or any um, extra information you might want to know about anything that you see in the video and I didn't clarify. Thank you for watching. Take care. Have a great day.